the following happened many, many years ago. But before you hear the story, you must know one thing about the cones. Many years before the Great War, we had been tormented by them. They had blocked our path towards victory. They had blocked our path towards retreat when we knew we could not win. They had tormented us for so long with their color and their shape and their purpose. After a long, long time, we decided to fight back. We no longer listened. We did not heed their warnings. And because of our ignorance, we suffered greatly. There was a coup against us. They tried to overthrow us. Had it not been for the one man who saved all of us before the public even knew about it. We may not be here today. Consequently, he was killed by them, but not till after he served his purpose. But it was because of him. We knew how to fight back. But, we didn't know when or where they would strike. This is that story. He's alive, but unconscious. You go check out the security footage. What the hell? Sergeant, I think you should come look at this. Sir, this is impossible, is it? We have to leave. Now.
So, what happened? Uh, they, they were attacked. No shit, Private. That's why they called and told us they were under attack. Was it Al-Qaeda? No, sir. Well, who was it then? Didn't you check the security footage? Uh, yes, sir, but... But what? W well, sir, uh, w what we saw, well, it's... Look, sir, you wouldn't believe us. What the hell did you see? Cones, sir. Traffic cones. I know it sounds absurd, but... No, no. That's not absurd. What? I was afraid of this. Were there any survivors? Uh, one, sir, but he had severe head trauma. He's in the infirmary, currently unconscious. Cones never leave anyone alive. They're vicious. Tenacious. Sir, when I was tending to the survivor, he came to for a brief moment and said they left a message with him. What was it? The fallen shall rise again. Mother of God. supposed to be my day off. Uh, sir, there is a large airborne force headed our way. Something I believe we should be concerned about. That's just the garrison ordered here by General Karafa. Now don't call me again. I don't know about you, Ted, but that doesn't look like a garrison. Alexandra, these past four months have been the greatest of my life. I know what you mean. I don't know where they're going to send me or what could happen to me. And that's why I'd like to know if you would do me the honor of being my wife. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh no! Wait, what? Why? No, not that! THAT! Sir, I don't think you understand the severity of the situation. No, General, you don't understand. We cannot launch a full attack on an enemy that is inanimate. It's a waste of resources. Sir, you very well know what they can do. General, I think you've been in the military too long. What you're proposing is absurd. Sir, the public never knew about the war or what they could do. It was an attack on the military. We could contain it, but now they've grown to a number too great for us to handle. General Little, you are the least of duty as of Monday morning at 30 a.m. Sir! Look at the classified file! Goodbye, Jim. God damn it! That idiot! He has no idea what we're up against! With all due respect, sir, it does sound ridiculous. Of course it does! We thought it was ridiculous when it happened the first time! God damn it! What are your orders, sir? Out of my way. Let me see. What the hell? A 
traffic cone? Mother of God. Today was supposed to be my day off, but it looks like I need to kick some ass instead. God, no. There's never anything good on it. Sirs, look! For those of you just joining us, Crystal Harbor, a part of the Umayya Islands, has been hit by a series of attacks by a non-human enemy. And no, this is not Covenant. We're going live to Mark O'Brien in Crystal Harbor. Mark? It is absolutely oh, Jesus. Mark, are you alright? Yeah, I think so. It's very dangerous. Anyone in the Crystal Harbor is a very very strong Mark. Mark? My God. Uh, I'm receiving word. Our field reporter, Mark O'Brien, has been killed in the line of duty. And our helicopter reporter, Sam Jacobs, has been shot down by them as well. Trying to check out our communications! Yeah! Check that, you fucking bastard! I am now receiving word that we have just lost all communications with the Crystal Harbor area. No secret. We are at war. Hello? General, it's for you. It's the President. Are you ready to hear me now? If you say I told you so, you're going to be court martialed.
yesterday, June 7, 2571, a date which will live in infamy. The United Colonies of Reach was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of the Colonies. As Commander-in-Chief of the military, I have directed that all measures be taken for our defense, but always will our whole nation remember the character of the onslaught against us. No matter how long it may take us to overcome this premeditative invasion, the Reach people and their righteous might will win through to absolute victory. Hey man, you hear about what happened at Crystal Harbor? Shh, dude, shut up! What? What did I say? Brandon over there? Yeah. His brother was stationed at Crystal Harbor, right? So he's one of the casualties. Oh man, Brandon, I, I, I'm, I'm so sorry, man. I, I didn't know. It's alright. I'll be sorry. <laughs> What the hell was that? So it begins. It's hard to believe. It just doesn't make sense. I mean, they're cones. Cones! They're plastic. You use them to divert traffic. And... And... They caused all this? Calm down, Luke! The important thing is that we're alive! But they aren't. I just hope Earth, and my brother, don't suffer the same fate. I'm sure your brother is alive and well, but I do feel the same for Earth. I was born there. I don't want to see it in ruins.
Are you happy with yourself? Do you really want to do this now, while billions of lives are at stake? I tried to tell you, but some people are more worried about how absurd it sounds, even when it's a clear threat to humanity. Let's not play the blame game. How about we try to prevent another attack? They already found Earth. God forbid they find Harvest. We need to stop them now. You've obviously dealt with them before. What did you do? How did you stop them? A saying Healy. You're kidding. His name was Griffin. He was one hell of a combatant. But he was obsessed with the notion that all cones were the enemy. He wouldn't stop until he had destroyed every single street cone. Eventually, he made it all the way to New Alexandria, where he looked high and low for anything that looked like a cone. He refused to stop. He was a threat to anyone in his way. So, we had to put him down. Did anyone discover any key weaknesses in the enemy? The only thing we noticed is that they can't fight well in close quarters. We would draw them back into the forest, and a lot of their casualties were from hitting trees. The smaller cones, that is. Well, we can't afford another crystal heart. We have reports that their forces are gathering outside the city of Breakers. You get your men and whoever else you can to protect that city until it's fully evacuated. I'll meet you there in person to discuss further battle plans. Understood, sir. What's the situation? We've lost communication with command. Our front line has been eliminated. <sighs> Damn. Fall back into the mountains. Use the rocky landscape to your advantage. Yes, sir. All forces fall back. Repeat, fall back. Head up the mountain. Regroup at Fort Young. Alex, I don't know if I'll ever see you again, but I just want you to know that I love you. Luke, you come back with your gun. Or on it. W wait what What does that even mean? All military personnel, please report to your transport at this time. Departure is in two minutes. Go get him, Luke. Hello, General. It's good to see you. Sir, I did not see, nor did any of my pilots, report picking up any cone forces. That's strange. The governor insisted that he saw... Jesus Christ!
sir. We need to fall back to the city. Colton. This is General Little. All forces fall back into breakneck. Sir, get in the building. You two, guard the upper points of entry. Mr. President, it's time for you to leave. You're the Commander-in-Chief, and we need you to... No! Gah! You orange bastard! God damn it! Sir, are you alright? Yes, but the President is dead. I don't know how we'll win this war. I think I do. How? I received a message from a radio transmission five minutes ago. Nearly all of the Cone's forces are being focused on this one city. And? All we need is a bomb. A massive bomb. It would kill all the Cones, but... Kill us, too. Yes, but I think I know how we can all survive the nuclear fallout. How? Yes, sir. Who is this? This is General Little. I have orders from the President for the destruction of my current position with a tactical nuke. Sir, can you repeat that? I want you to shoot a nuclear missile at my current position. Uh, General, most of our forces aren't breakneck. We can't just... Before you nuke it, we need a care package. It'll ensure our survival. Uh, what? Son, give me your commanding officer. Hello, General. This is Colonel Thomas. What can I do for you? Colonel, we need the AL care package. Now. Yes, sir. All right. Be prepared for the blast. Bye. show our enemy that man, not Cone, would dominate. As soon as word of our victory had spread, planets all throughout the galaxy knew how to defeat the Orange Death. And not long after the Battle of Breakneck, where the brave soldiers of Reach had conquered the enemy, the Cone forces knew they were outgunned by our superior technology and formally surrendered.